Okay, what we're going to show you today is how to do a brake uh, replacement on a 2000 Range Rover. Yep, go ahead. We've got our cameraman here who's doing a great job. And what are you pointing out? No, we're doing great. We're recording. We're doing awesome. All right. So what we've done is we've already taken everything off of uh, the, the brake housing. We've taken off the rotor. We've got everything going. Uh, and the reason we had was a little squeak in here and I didn't pay attention to it and we had a problem with one of the brake pads and it gouged a big um, indentation in the rotor so we had to replace the rotor. Um, so what we've done is we've gone out and gotten a new rotor to put in and the, uh, the old rotor was a little bit seized on here so we've applied some anti-seize uh, for the future so hopefully it won't be so hard to get the rotor off. And we're just going to slide this on here and we make sure that we line up. There's a screw that holds this rotor on and so we just make sure that we line this up and then we just have to get this on here. Man, that's not quite there yet. Why isn't it going on? We know it's just it's tight on there now. The old rotor, I think, got some corrosion in there or something. What's the? Oh yeah. The old <laughs> rotor that we took off. So we want this to fit in there more snugly, and it should fit in easy. Okay. <laughs> That's just fine. Okay. Darn. I'm the cameraman. <laughs> I'm filming. All right. All right, Camera Joe. Hi. Oh, here. You want it back to you? Well. Bye bye. I'm trying to get this brake on here. I'm sure not going on, maybe. That's for sure. Oh. That we grease this up. More me time. Right. Hi. Ah, there hi. we go. I'm the that cameraman. The cameraman. Better. Oh, wait, here, back to you. All right, good. All right, so we got that on. It was just a little bit snug there. Okay. So, now what we've done is we've got the rotor installed again. We need to take the screw and put that back on. The screw. Because there's a screw that holds on this rotor right here. You got it up here so people can see, Isaac? Yep. All right, make sure that we can see what's going on. What is that again? Okay. This is anti seize. So, what I do is I coat the anti seize on here mm -hmm. because that'll coat the threads. And then when this heats up and the rotor heats up, mm -hmm. this won't uh, get stuck in there if we ever need to pull this rotor off again. Uh -huh. Although we're really hoping that we don't have to ever do it. Uh, your hands so, not dirty. Well, my hands are clean, they're just a little sweaty. So, then what we're going to do is we put this in here like this. Yay, it's righty tighty. It is righty tighty. Good job. It's exactly right. All right. Then what we do is we just make this kind of hand tight. We don't want to over torque it. Torque. Leave it like that. Okay? Oh, wait, I don't think I was filming right. Yeah, that's okay. I think we're all good. No, I, maybe I was like filming your hand. No, or, that's okay. Like the jackhammer so down there. So we've down. got the, we've got the, here, put it up here. We've got the screw in now. Okay. So now, what we need to do, put on another pair of gloves. Okay. Gloves. Okay. Gloves, check. I was going to say that. Oh, wow, look at these tools. Those are cool tools, huh? Uh, All right, hold on. Don't be going crazy. People won't want to throw up while they're watching our YouTube video. Woo! All right. So now, hold on, hold on. i got to explain something. So now, what we have already done and what you want to do is you want to push back in the caliper okay and Can you just get the gloves on and then talk right so we've used this right we had a big c-clamp 
and you have to push back in the brake housing or the caliper, okay, because this is eventually going to house where our brakes sit. Uh -huh. So I've already pushed this back in, and you can see this. Can you see that kind of good there, boy? Yeah. Okay, so I'll get it in there. Okay, very good. Okay, we've got this flush because originally this is out. It gets it pushes itself out as the brakes get thinner over time, right? So we set that back up in here. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to remount the brake house. So that's going to sit right in here, just like this. And this is where the brakes like to sit. Mm -hmm. And we line this up. And I don't usually bother with anti-seize on these. But and you might just want to be safe. Yep. So we put this brake housing back on here. You got the camera on the brake housing here, son? Yep. Excellent. Well Don't done. call me son. All right, that's okay. I'm bored of you. All right. All right. No. Mom is gonna go wash the other car. So. Which is always nice. But it gets dirty after one second. Right. I just walk right in it. Okay. I walk so in now, it, trash it. There we go. You do like to trash mom's car. All right. And maybe drive it, even though I'm not allowed to. I'm kidding. I don't drive it. All right. Does not want me time? So now, we're going to tighten the brake housing. It, what is that? What's that? The thing that you're using? Ooh, that's my torque wrench. A torque wrench. This is a torque wrench. Am I getting a crank? So the noise? torque wrench puts a specific amount of torque on the bolt. Right? Mommy time! Please. So, we're just tightening this up. I'm just getting it hand tight right now. Uh huh. Did I get more me time? <laughs> well, hold on a second, because you're going to get more me time in just a second. On the camera? Because I'm going to have to look up the specs on how tight to make these bolts back here. Because there's two sets of bolts there's the main brake housing bolts, and then for the actual brake pads and the calipers, there's a smaller bolt uh, that that uh, houses that. Okay? Wow. So go ahead, and you can do some Isaac time. Okay, wait, what are you going to do? I'm just going to read the specs over here. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'll be here for just a second. Hi, it's me, the camera guy. Hi. Here, I'll put you right on my knee. Hi. Well, don't make people sick. Woo! Oh, it's a book. What are you It doing? is the book. We're pull it's the book. We pulled out the. the hold on, you're book. too close. No, 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 too close. Chinese. Come back a little bit. Okay. General data mm -hmm. section six. La 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 la. Too much, okay? We want people to enjoy the video. Okay. Yeah, well, hi. Probably should have done this when we started. Uh, switches and Uh, we'll be back in a minute. Hi, we're back. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> we done yet? Not yet. Another few minutes here. Hold on. Okay, wait just a second. We're we are uh, looking for something. Breaking system. Breaking system. How come you're doing this out of a book? Well, the the book has the specifications for me. Wouldn't other people just go out of the book then? And no. Hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. Breaks. Uh, 
Let's go look at it up. Remember, look at the book before watching the video. True. Watch the... Read the book before watching the video. Whatever book that is. Eh, or you can just watch the video. Which is going to be a long time. Because you can't find the page. I can't. Epic fail. <laughs> yes. Epic, epic fail. fail. But we don't want to have an epic fail Woo! on the road, so that's why we're going to get the right... Wasn't it already an epic fail when you were driving around and it was making the squeaky noise? No. <laughs> Freak pass. Oh, yeah. Well, such a... Woo, it's a hurricane! It's a hurricane! Oh, no! No! It's a hurricane! It's going wild! Hey, Mr. Isaac, please. Yeah? Please. Yeah, well, we're not gonna do some video. You're just doing that the entire time. Alright. Hey, well, um, Isaac, why don't you turn that off right now, and we'll find this so that we don't waste any more time. Just hit the...